So hi, I'm Louise and today my vlog I'm going to be talking about sex after Barbie butt surgery. Um, just to confirm, I am not a medical professional. Anything I say within this video is purely for advice and guidance. If you are experiencing anatomy problems or problems with your stoma following the surgery, then you do need to contact your surgeon or you do need to seek advice from a gynaecologist. Um, apologies to the men, but this is more so based on a female perspective and questions that I have been asked following the surgery and obviously some problems that I have experienced after having the surgery done. So, <clears throat> Barbie, butt in, Barbie butt surgery for women is quite invasive. Um, the reason being for that, um, for those of us that have had more than one surgery and have had several surgeries, um, obviously the removal of the large bowel involves them having to unpick things from the vaginal wall along with obviously having to unpick scar tissue and the bowel from scar tissue to have that removed. Um, one of the most common questions that I have been asked since one of the blog posts that I did write following obviously my, my experience following surgery was is it normal to have discharge after Barbie butt surgery so that is based on a case by case basis it is down to the individual yes discharge can happen yes it does smell um the reason being is when they do the surgery they blow you, they blow you up with um air and water for them to be able to see and for them to be able to unpick things and then obviously you have the surgery exudate um, and with everything being closed up and once your surgery drains are removed then there is typically only one exit because the other one has been either sewn or glued closed and that can happen, you do get discharged, you can also bleed for anything between sort of a week to um, sometimes three months following having that surgery done so my advice for you would be sanitary towels, panty liners um, yes there is a smell associated with the discharge so um, things like Femfresh and Vagisil will help um, one of the questions that I did get asked was when can you resume sex, uh, um, resume, resume sex after Barbie butt surgery now that is a delicate one, um, the reason being is where everything has been tinkered with on the inside that causes swelling and that not only causes swelling to what has been removed that also causes swelling with the anatomy on the inside and the vaginal wall and that does take time to go down that can take anything between sort of 6 to 12 months um, so sex can be uncomfortable following that surgery um, don't do what I did and try three to four weeks after having the surgery done I can confirm it was painful I can confirm it wasn't one of my wisest decisions and the hardcore painkillers I was on, on at the time had a lot to answer for I have been asked what positions are more comfortable following that surgery now missionary isn't always the best one following the surgery the reason being is you can't always control the depth that something is going in because of the way that you are lying so post-operative positions like spooning with one way because you can kind of gauge and control how how that goes obviously you've got going on top and obviously it's just about being creative and finding something that works for you um one thing that I have been asked and um, it's one thing that I have experienced and that is can um, I resume oral sex after having the surgery done now you can but that does take time um, the reason being is that may be associated with the discharge and because the discharge causes uh, um, and has a distinctive smell then it may not be very pleasant for your partner to do I have been sent a few via private message is I've split my wound I've split my Barbie butt during sex what do I do now that is an open wound it can be an infection risk 
you really need to seek medical advice for that. Um, splitting the wound can happen. Um, the longer time goes on, the more hardy the wound will get, so it will be thicker as time goes on so I would advise that maybe vigorous and sort of swinging from the chandeliers <laughs> um, sex may not be advisable and that soft and gentle may be the way to go until things have healed properly. Another question that I have been asked um, but I always advise that you need to seek medical advice with regards to that is that things down there are incredibly tight um, I'm worried um, I, if I have sex that I'm going to get hurt, what do I do? Um, my advice for that is you do need to seek advice and help for that. I can't advise you as to whether you can or you can't have sex. That is something that needs to be checked. Vaginal dryness following Barbie butt surgery, a thing. I can confirm for some of us it is. It is something that I struggle with and it's something that actually led me to go and um, seek help and have a gynaecologist check me over. Um, lubrication is a thing. Um, it is something that you may well need to purchase. Obviously that is based on personal preference. Um, and it is something that you will need to check because obviously dependent on how you are and what you use then each thing has a different way of affecting down there. Um, you've also got to be uh, take into consideration that if you are practicing safe sex and using condoms then um, different lubrications can actually um, null and void um, the safety of a condom so you do need to check the back of the packaging um, with regards to how that will affect um, how you proceed. Uh, one question that I have been asked is um, does setting the mood help? Now um, I'm a firm believer in date nights and that kind of thing but um, I think especially post-op um, I think the pressure of setting a date night and setting the scene so that sex can happen um, may actually put more pressure on you than something that's just kind of natural and goes with the flow. Um, also alcohol has a lot to answer for, it does also lower your inhibitions so when you are getting back into it um, for me personally I don't think um, drinking helps um, I find that in some cases alcohol actually slows things down and it tends to numb things so there may be a case of where you have a fair amount of alcohol get down to it and wake up the next morning and wish that you hadn't because it does get quite painful um, and so it that is also an each to their own so um, that is it from me with regards to sex after barbie butt surgery apologies for any stuttering or um, myself going red faced it's not um, my comfort zone shall we say I find it easier to write than talk about um, so I would like to say thank you ever so much for watching I will be back with another video soon and I'll say bye for today so say bye